Welcome everybody, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Unify controller if you have that running on Windows as a service. I've already downloaded the new version of the Unify controller, uh, but first we need to stop the service and then we need to make a backup. So I'm going to get that going here. I'm going to go over to my services. I'll find the Unify service, which I've already done here, and I'm just going to stop it. So yes, that does mean my controller goes offline while we do this, but it's still a fairly quick process. Uh, while that's in the process of shutting down, you can see I've actually done others. So what we'll do here after this is stopped, we'll make an exact copy of this folder. We will label it with the version of controller that it is, and then we'll go ahead and run the new installer. So I do copy, paste, I'll let that go ahead and make its copy there. It's very advantageous to run this as a service because if your server restarts for updates and it inevitably will unless you have them completely disabled, uh, you want your controller to start back up without you having to interfere with it. All right, so we're just going to fast forward until that's done. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and rename that copy to the version that our controller is, which is 6028. Um, just in case we were to have to do a quick rollback, we can do that fairly quickly with just a rename. Go ahead and launch the installer. I'm going to click install. Yes, we want to upgrade. Checking to make sure that it's not running. If it is, it's going to upgrade it. Do you have a backup? Yes, we have a backup. While this is doing this, a quick note here is when this is done, unfortunately, you cannot just, you know, go back over to your services and start that. Um, it will not work. Um, hopefully they'll change that. But for now, we do have a pretty quick batch file that reinstalls that for us. Um, so we're going to uncheck that. No, we do not want to start the controller. Uh, if you start that, that starts as it starts it in user mode, uh, which is no good for if your server reboots. So that's done. We are going to right click this file, click run as administrator. It is a batch file. I will show you that guys that contents in just a second, uh, but I'm going to get my controller running. There it dropped out over there. There, reinstall it, starting, running, we are good. Okay, so open up this file. It's really a simple file, and I'm going to leave that up for a few seconds. So uh, this file will run as the user that um, the original Unify controller is installed on, under. Um, it'll uninstall the service and reinstall it for you, and it'll also start it back for you. Um, incredibly helpful for doing these upgrades. I mean, I've been using it for since the beginning to redo this. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Your controller is upgraded, guys. Hope this helps. Leave a like.